Spotify all. I am Guru here. I am back to you people and uh, to discuss more about the uh, the QA concept with the uh, so today I would like to discuss with you people on the build release part of view point of view. So what exactly this build release and how the people are uh, development people are going to do the build release and how QA people will accept the build and how exactly the things will happen. Just I would like to explain you people around the <clears throat> build. Like what exactly? First, we should understand what is this build and who is a responsible person to make a build in the team, like in the uh, in the team, right? There will be a build engineer and who who is that person? What he is going to do with the build and how the development team is developing the codes and how they are checking into the checking into the repository that also we should learn over here and how the uh, project manager or a development manager or a development lead how will make how they will make a, a release notes for that particular build and what exactly why they wanted to do this and how that build is coming from development team development server to the testing server and what exactly the tester is going to do with that build. So all these concepts, all these things, we would like to understand and we would like to simulate ourselves like an industry's work. So let us start with uh, uh, the build. And uh, see, there in the industries, right, people, uh, the team is maintaining three servers. Understand the servers. One, we call it as a development server. Another one, we call it as a QA server. Another one is the production server. Let it be. We will play with these two servers right now. So what is happening? Uh, as, as you know, right, development people have their own requirement and we will people have the same requirement. We will do the QA activities and development people will do the development activities. Okay. What they will be doing? Every day, they, will, they used to code the requirement. Means they will have a requirement. They will start doing the coding. By end of the day, every day by end of the day, they will check in the codes in the repository and they will send that that link, repository link to the build engineer. Okay. Who is going to make the build engineer and they will send all the emails like this is the code has been checked in the repository and you can check out the codes like which I have written and they will write the commands in the uh, code, checking codes also. What are the modifications they have done? Okay. They will write some comments on the everyday check in whenever they are depositing the code in the repository right? they will write the uh, information minor information about the modification what they have done with the code and what are the coding they have done and they will send the same link to the uh, managers team leads all the junior people right they will send us the same link to the managers and team leads so build engineer what he, what he will do he will take all the files he will check out all the files from the repository and he will try to make a build means the build is nothing but your application URL. He will he will take all the source files from the repository with their links, and he will make he will integrate all the uh, modules and all the codes. He will integrate and he will put them into the particular URL. URL in the sense like uh, the URL which we use to uh, uniform resource locator means all the files will be located. All the files will be integrated in that particular URL, uniform resource locator. So all the files will be there and he will make a particular build for that application. Once he made a particular build, right, he will tell the managers and all those things, build is ready. Manager, QA, a development manager or a development lead, they will prepare the systematic summary for that build. Means they will write in this build, this is the URL of the build and this is the login credential of the build and following functionality have been implemented in this build. So every information they will give and they will write a systematic summary on that particular build. So once the build is ready, means once the release notes is ready, release notes contains a build. Okay. Release notes in the sense, they will write the summary about that particular build. What are the functions the QA people going to take to test? What are the functions QA people should not touch in that build? They will make ready for that build and they will send it to the QA engine, QA test manager or a QA lead. Guys, we are done with the build and go ahead and start doing the functional testing. Then that URL will be sent to your test manager. 
and test manager will look into the summary of that particular build okay what are the functionality our people has to check and all those things he will go through and he will communicate to whole the team including test lead stating that guys start executing the functional test cases which are ready with you and before executing the functional test cases executing the test cases please make sure that do the spoke testing and check whether this build is fine to go ahead further all the qa people will get that email and they will start looking into their their modules what is the scope and in that scope particular my module is there in this release or not they will try to log in and they will do some kind of smoke testing i mean to say they wanted to they would like to verify the build means they would like to verify the application whether this application is worth to go ahead with my uh, rest of the functional test cases whether it is allowing me to log in if it is allowing me to log in can i able to can i able to check my module can i able to click my links so everything if smoke test got passed they will they will send an in information stating that uh, smoke test is got passed and we are ready we, we we are going ahead with the execution of functional test cases this is i called it is the build verification smoke testing is nothing but the initial verification of the build then if build got failed i mean to say if build is not working as per expected it is giving server error here and there it is not at all allowing me to you to log in means we will suspend the testing activities and we will ask a new build for the development team there is a systematic process guys if you wanted to learn more about this i am really very much happy to help about the how to process what is the real build and what is the release notes we are preparing and what are the contents of that release notes what you need to look into the release notes being a qa engineer what is the responsibility of your manager what is the responsibility of your lead what is the responsibility of your qa rule in the industries and what exactly you need to do uh, how you are going to prepare the release notes while sending that build to the production okay so what qa people will prepare the release notes and all so guys everything pin to pin information you will learn from me and it is the best opportunity for the non technical people who wanted to learn the real work of qa this is the best opportunity guys so let me know who all are interested i am ready to help you out people thank you thanks a lot guru see you again in the next my youtube thank you thanks a lot